Just One Bite, brought to you in part by Urban Olive Trading Company. Do you have picky eaters in your house? Well, in our house, we follow the just one bite rule. You can't say that you don't like something if you've never tried it. So you have to give things a try because you might actually think it's pretty awesome. Welcome to Just One Bite. I'm Meg Tucker and today we're in the beautiful test kitchens at Trail Appliances in Red Deer, where my little mini foodies and I are making food fit for a camp out. But before we get to the cooking, we need to try those Just One Bites. Talk about these ingredients and then put them all together to make something super fun that you can make at your house. Ready to meet the kids? Let's cook. Hi, everyone. Are we ready to have some fun today? Yes. Yeah, we are. Hi, Lily. How are you? Good. You're good. And Parker, thanks for joining us. Amazing. Amazing. You're amazing. Hi, Holly. So here's what's going to happen. You have your little plates in front of you and we have three things for us to try. Just one bite. Now here's the rule. You just have to take a little bite. If you love it, you can eat more. But if you don't like it, that's okay. We're going to talk about them. So how about everyone grab their blue spoon and yes. maybe take a little teeny tiny bite of it and tell me what you think. Okay, let's talk. What do we oh, think? I do know what it is. I do know what it is. You do know what it is? It's mustard. It's honey mustard. <laughs> what do we think? What do you think? I didn't taste it Okay, yet. we'll go for it. You take that just one bite. We'll call it a just one lick. Lily, what do you think? I don't like it. That is okay, my dear, but you tried it and that's what's important. Parker, we're, we're struggling over here. What's going on? I do not like that. <laughs> okay. It's way sourer than normal mustard. You know what? I love that you said that. Way sweeter too. Do you guys ever I put- I don't like any mustard, not even strawberry mustard. Then we will not give you any more, but thank you for trying. Let's go to the next, the pink spoon. Mm, I know what this is. You can, Take a little tiny lick, a little bite. You can smell it. Give it a little try. Oh, I think I know what this is. Give it a little try. That's a good way to do it. Lily, have a little lick. I know what it is. What is it? It's barbecue it, sauce. It is barbecue sauce. I knew it. Okay, so do you like barbecue sauce? Yeah. What do you guys put on, what do you use barbecue sauce for? Sometimes ribs. Delicious. My, ribs my brother days uses ago. it on his burgers. Perfect, ribs, burgers. Lily, did you try it? Yeah. And what do you think? Um. Would you eat it again? Um, Would yes. You, yes, would you put it on a burger? I knew it no. Would you put it on chicken fingers? Maybe. Maybe, right? Awesome, you all tried it. Okay, take this one of the little bacon. nuggets. It's bacon. Yeah. It's bacon. Let mm -hmm. me think what it is. Lily's gonna take a guess. What do you think it is? Bacon. You got it, girl. What do we think of bacon? Thumbs up, two thumbs. Who doesn't love bacon, right? So now that we've tried all of our just one bite ingredients, are you guys ready to find out what we're making today? Yes. It's very exciting. We are going camping. I mean, not really, but we're gonna pretend to go camping. We are <laughs> making barbecue honey meatloaf, mashed potato puffs, and indoor s'mores. Yeah! I love more. Can I have one more bacon bit? You got it, buddy. Yeah. I already took some. Love it. Eat it all. Eat it all. Love it. Parker, are we ready to get set to go camping? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever camped? 
Yeah? Yeah, okay. So do you sleep in a tent or do you sleep in a, a trailer? Tent, and when I went camping, I got bit on the ear by a wasp. Excuse me, did you have to go to the hospital? No. No, you just toughed it out. Yeah. Okay, well, as we mentioned, we are gonna be making some really fun things that you can eat when you camp. You can make them on a campfire, but we're doing an indoor camping experience. So how do you feel about barbecue honey meatloaf? Are we ready? Are we up for the task? Yes. We are. Okay, so here's our bowl. Here is our spatula. And we need to start adding all these ingredients. So why don't you take this yellow bowl and dump all the meat into here. And I bet you if you hold it up, it'll just sort of watch. So first we have our ground beef. And then, do you know what this is? Any guesses? Parmesan? Do you know what? That's a really good guess. It's actually breadcrumbs and they're called panko breadcrumbs. They're quite crunchy. So why don't you throw those in? Excellent. And then you remember this. What's barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. So you hold the bowl and I'll spoon it. You spoon it in. All right, go for it. You could do that. Yep. Excellent. While you're doing that, I'm going to put in the Worcestershire, smell it. Ugh, I do not like that smell. But you know what? It makes it so, so good. You keep going with that. This is the mustard, remember that? Yes. Yes. But it's amazing, even if something's not really good when you're trying it on its own, it's pretty yummy when it's all put together. Yeah. You know? Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of Mmm, this is olive oil, so I'll get you to pour that in. Get this clot perfect. You know what? Let's throw all our bowls into the yellow bowl. There, that's perfect. That works. And then we have a little pinch of salt. Have you used a pepper mill before? Do you know how to use yep. a pepper? Okay, grind in a little pepper. Excellent. You can keep going with that. You know, this is a really cool ingredient. This is from Oh, it's so good. Urban Olive Trading Company. Tell me if you think it's vinegar, but do you have a, can you detect a smell? Orange. Very close, it's peach. How neat, right? So we're gonna yeah. put that in. Perfect. And then, Mr. Bear, we need a little honey. I'll get you to squirt a little honey in. Use those mussels. Oh, this is perfect. Maybe two more squirts. One. Yep. Two. Third for good measure. Excellent. This, Ninja, use your muscles because we're gonna get you to start. See what I'm doing? I'm kind of like squishing it. We need you to give it a bit of a squish, okay? Because we're trying to mix in okay. all the ingredients. While you're doing a little of that, and you know what? It's always good to, with your other hand, hold the bowl. Kind of hold it steady. You're doing a great job. I'm gonna add in a really cool, sort of secret ingredient. Do you know what this is? Peas? Yeah, it's a green blend. We're just gonna add one little dollop. Sneak attack. Parents, if you wanna add in a little bit of extra health, we just made our meatloaf, add in a blend. But you can do this to meatloaf, you can do it to sauces, especially if you have picky eaters. We used peas, so you can just mash up some peas, but you can use broccoli, you can use beans, and then just add a little, I'm using a little extra virgin olive oil here, Blend it together and then just add it to your ground beef. It's awesome. Once it's cooked, they won't know the peas are in there. You're getting extra fiber, super nutritious. Now, here comes the real test. Are you willing to forego the spatula and use your hands? <laughs> uh... Are you doing it or am I doing it? Or are we in this together? Together. We are together. Okay, so here, let's put your spatula right in that yellow bowl. We're gonna move this here. I'll go first. We're gonna get our hands in. We're gonna squish it all up. I know, and I'm, then we're gonna put it here. I am not a messy kid. You know what? I don't like being messy either, so we'll make it quick. Yeah. Are you scared though? Don't be scared, it's just food. One, two, three. Yeah! How delicious! Give it a little squish. You're doing very good. Let's get it all mixed. You are a champion. Okay, you go to the cloth, I'll finish up. You did a great job. 
we'll get it just sort of mixed Ooh. because we. <laughs> Ooh, that is. I do. Tell know. me how you feel. I feel very sick from that. <laughs> it actually makes me kind of sick. But you know what? Here's the great thing about cooking. It's okay to get a little messy, and you can always wash your hands again, right? Yeah. So the good news is with meatloaf, you don't have to actually um, mix it too much. Now, I'm going to lift it. Can I get you to move this blue bowl out of the way? And I'm going to go like this. Just right there. It's perfect. Let's move this over. And all we need to do at this point is form it. What do you think that means? Like make it into a shape? Yeah. So we're just gonna make it into a long log, like you would find at a fire, camping, right? Yeah. I know, let's be honest, it's raw meat. So it's not, you know, super pretty, but I'll tell you, it's gonna look very pretty when it comes out of the oven. This is gonna be delicious. Meatloaf by the ninja. Okay, time for the oven. Let's go, bud. Grab those oven mitts and you're gonna follow me. So we're gonna put this one in here. Hot oven, incoming. Guess what? It's magic. I have one that's ready already. Can I get, we'll grab those. And I will reach in. Oh, look at that. All right, bud, let's head back to the counter with our oven meatloaf that's all ready. Let's go, bud. Okay, back up here. Oh, Parker, look what we made. It looks good. Doesn't that look yummy? Yes. Let's take these off. So we probably need to get a few pieces of our barbecue honey meatloaf. How about onto the tray? Does that work? Yes. So we're gonna carefully cut a piece of this. And we'll cut through it here. So we'll be very, very careful. Now, can you, using your spatula, we'll do teamwork here. Can you put it on the spatula? Okay, we'll go slowly, slowly. Yes, that actually works. Okay, you wanna do, we'll do another piece. Doesn't it smell good? It's gonna taste yummy. Okay, can we get it? Yep. All right, so meatloaf is full of all the barbecue sauce and the honey, we'll do one more, how about that? Okay, we need to be super slow. All right, so the thing is, if we could, when you, when you bake it at home with mom and dad, once you take it out on the pan, it's a good idea to leave it sitting for a while. Do you have any guesses as to why you would let it sit for a little bit before you cut it? Because maybe... You were close. I feel like you were close. What it does is it kind of lets it hang out and it lets it sort of come together again. So then when you cut it, it's a little easier to cut. But doesn't it smell good? Yep. We're gonna have a little bit of meatloaf later. You did it, you touched meat, you, you touched ground beef and we did barbecue sauce and honey, you made your first meatloaf. Good. Yay! <laughs> Good job, bud. <music> Lily, we're gonna make mashed potato puffs. Are you excited? You cook at home, don't you? Yeah. Do you, you, you're such a big girl. You do cooking with, with mom, don't you? And you do cooking with dad. Today we're gonna make mashed potato puffs. So here, let's take a look. What's in the bowl already? Mashed potatoes. Yes, and how do we make mashed potatoes into mashed potato puffs? Hmm, we take some eggs first maybe, and then we take some bacon, and then we take some of this, and then some cheese, and then some of that, yeah. and then some of that. So I'm pretty sure you have the recipe already figured out, which is awesome. So I'll hold the bowl. Why don't you dump in the eggs? One, two, three. Perfect. And we're going to put the... Ah. You know what? Look I what I have. Ta-da! Thank we'll, you. We'll keep the cloth. You're welcome, sweetie. All right, now let's put in the bacon bits next. We tried bacon bits earlier, right? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. You can put, how about you put that into the orange bowl now that it's empty. Now let's do a little cheese. Like a little cheese. And by a little, let's put it all in. 
Do you like cheese? I love cheese. Come on, who doesn't? We're not putting all of the onions in, so I'm gonna give you a little spoon. And why don't you hold the bowl and maybe give me two or three spoonfuls of the green onion. Do you like onion? Uh, no. That's okay, but you know what? When it's in our mashed potatoes, it's gonna be yummy. Okay. So tell me what you like to cook when you're at home. I like to cook everything what mom bakes except mess potato cheese things. Oh, okay. And do you ever make cookies and cakes and stuff? You can help me stir, absolutely. Do you make cookies and cakes? We sometimes make cookies and cakes. Do you make pizza? We make pizza too. Okay. But I make pizza all on my own. Excuse me, nobody helps you? Except mom when I have some little trouble. Okay, so what sort of things do does mom help with? Maybe turning the oven on? Uh, yeah, because I never want to turn the oven on mm -hmm. because it's too hot and I don't even wear my oven gloves. My goodness, you know what though? It's fine because once you grow up and get a little bit bigger, then you definitely can open up the oven, right? Right. Yeah, so mom helps with that. What about using a knife? Have you ever cut stuff, chopped stuff? No. That'll come, that'll come. So you've probably made muffins before, right? Yeah. All right, so here's the cool part, Lily. We're gonna get you Let's move those carefully over there. You lift the little onions over to the side. We're gonna move the muffin tin right here, okay? And then with our spoons, I'll go first and then you can do the next one. Okay. You take a spoon and you put it in the muffin tin. So this is all of our good stuff. We have our mashed potatoes. We have our cheese, awesome. I love it, just give it a little, yep, perfect. So you're gonna put a couple more little dollops in there until it's almost filled. We're gonna fill up our muffin tins with our mashed potatoes. And because we put that egg in, the egg, when it goes in the oven, makes it all puffy. Oh. Do you think we're gonna love these? Yeah. These are things you could probably make at home, right? Yeah. So uh, I think now it's time to Put them in the oven. Awesome, can I get a high five? Love it. <music> Lily, what did we make? Remember what these were called? Mash potato puffs. Absolutely, all right, now watch what I'm gonna do. Watch me first and then you're gonna help because we need to get these guys onto the tray. Okay. So we're gonna go like this and then I'm gonna let you take over so you carefully hold the spoon. Carefully get it over there onto the tray. Excellent, we'll keep doing that. I'll get it started. How Oops. Okay, here, you take my spoon. I'll start it for you and then you finish. That's a good deal, right? Yeah. It's like teamwork. And I'm gonna trade, we're gonna go like this. Oh. Yeah, you can use your other hand. To put your other finger right there on top. Steady it. There you go. Oh, these look so good. I didn't do the same thing on the other here. ones. That's okay, love, that's okay. Now there you are. You put your little finger on top. Always keep it nice and steady. Now we're gonna, we just keep trading. Oh. You wanna take that one? I love it, teamwork. Mm. Now do you need to move them with your hands and give, give them, put them all maybe in a long row? This Jeez. is like a catapult. A <laughs> catapult of mashed potato puffs. I love it. But we're not finished because I'm gonna do the sour cream and you're gonna do the chives. So hold on, let me put a little bit of sour cream. Wait, is this your spoon and that's my spoon? Did we switch spoons? Yes. What do we do now? I have an idea. Use your fingers. You can just pick them up. I bet you it's gonna be easier. Well, maybe I could just use this. Or spoon. you can just use that spoon. I am not fussy. So you're gonna go and put a little bit of onion on top of the white, on top of the sour cream. Right there on top. Excuse me, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we've got our mashed potato puffs. 
you're gonna follow behind me and put the, ch these are chives. Do you know what chives are? Onions. Onions. But they're not, they're not stinky onions. They're just nice onions. Are we gonna make these at home maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, excuse you me, we're finished. Did you have a question? What were you just gonna tell me? Nothing. Okay, can I get a high five? What did we just make? Once again, what's this called? Mashed. Mashed potato puffs. High five, Lily! <laughs> Holly, we are camping and you hit the <laughs> jackpot. What are we making? S'mores! You were very excited earlier. So tell me, <laughs> you've had s'mores before, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you know what we're looking at? What are the ingredients here we're looking at? Marshmallow, crackers, and chocolate chips. I mean, is this not the greatest day ever? Oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Your job is to put the graham crackers on the pan. So you go ahead, start to place them, maybe like in a few rows. This is good. You can keep, yep, and we'll place them all over the pan. Excellent. So this is a really fun way that you can make s'mores indoors. Kind of rhymes, indoor yeah. s'mores. Excellent. Okay, so now what's the next thing you put on s'mores? Chocolate. Not yet. Marshmallow. Okay, so we're gonna do something wild and crazy. <sighs> what am I holding? Scissors. And what am I holding? Marshmallow. Have you ever cut a marshmallow with scissors? No. It's crazy. I'm gonna cut it. And take the piece. See where the sticky side is? Yeah. We're gonna put the sticky side down. So take that one. And loving it, loving it, loving it. So I cut, you stick. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah. Okay, and we don't really have to press them. We're just putting them nice and light because the heat will melt them. All right, is this fun? Mm-hmm. Cutting marshmallows with scissors. Make sure you, when you go home, you ask permission. Can I use the scissors to cut the marshmallows? We probably not gonna do this at home. Well, you know what? You, that's why you have to get special marshmallow cutting scissors. So you only use it to make s'mores, okay. How many more? All right, last one. This is very exciting. So now that we have the marshmallows and we have the graham crackers, the chocolate comes later. What do we have to do to turn them into s'mores? Where do we have to put them? In the oven. We have to put them in the oven. You've got your oven mitts? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, follow me. It's very hot, so follow me. Let's get our s'mores in the oven. Now you wait right here, cause it's a hot oven. Here, stand right behind me, honey. Just to be safe, really safe. That is a hot oven. You're gonna get a little bit of some hot oven. Okay, can you see in the oven? Can you see? We have to watch them. That's actually what we have to do right now. So we're gonna watch them because the broiler is on. So a broiler is very, very, very hot heat. What happens when heat touches the marshmallow? It melts. <gasps> They're literally melting. Levi Can I have the oven mitts? Okay, you're gonna stand right over here because this is a very hot oven. So when I open the oven door, we're not gonna worry, okay? We're not gonna get close. I'm gonna move over here. These are amazing. Wait till you see them. Hang on, hang on. Okay, they're good. We have a little smoke, but hey, it's a campfire. Okay, Holly, back over to the table. Let's not start a fire, here we go. Here's what we're doing. Don't touch the pan, it's really hot. Take a chocolate, okay? And squish them right there. Yeah, be very, very, very careful. Give it a squish. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Be very careful. That is a hot pan. Can you believe we're making s'mores? Yeah. Inside into s'mores. This is amazing. Okay. 
Okay, make sure mom and dad are watching you do it because it's a hot, hot pan. Look at the pan right now. Look what we made. I know. It's amazing, you need to celebrate. Why don't you have, a, a, have one of these? Have one of these guys. Yeah. High five, indoor s'mores. We did it, we did it. Woo! Just One Bite, brought to you in part by Urban Olive Trading Company. We did it. We made food. That is going to be the greatest camp out ever. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So much fun. Lily, uh, why don't you tell everyone what you made? I made this. Yeah, what is it? Mashed. Mashed. Potatoes. Mashed potato puffs. Mashed potato puffs. Excellent. And Parker, what did you help me make? I made a meatloaf. Yes, a delicious barbecue honey meatloaf. And Miss Holly, what did you and I make together? S'mores. We made s'mores. This is all stuff that you guys could have when you go camping, whether it's indoor camping or outdoor camping. Let's eat. Why don't you guys try, let's try the mashed potato puffs. Mm. You can pick them up like a muffin. Mm. You can just take a bite. You've got your potato and your bacon. Mmm, that is good. Mm. I love it because I've I already tried, tried it, it from mom's. Excellent. You've I've tried this before without this stuff. Okay, do you know what that stuff is on top? That's a little bit of chives. Those are a little bit of onion and sour cream. I know. So will we be making the mashed potato puffs at home? No. <laughs> okay, try the meatloaf. Oh. It's okay, sweetheart. Keep going. You can try a new bite. It's all good. This is the barbecue honey meatloaf that Parker ah. and I made. Mm, I love it. it. You love it. Yeah, I me too. love to hear you say that. Right? Mm -hmm. And you know what? Remember in the beginning it was all hamburger and all the ground yeah. beef? But when you cook it all together? That's good. Can you taste mustard? No. Right? Lily, do you like it? Yeah. I love it. I love that you love it. Whenever you're ready. I just like it. Oh, I'm glad you like it, sweetheart. Whenever you're ready, you might want to take a bite of the s'mores that Holly made. Mm. The indoor s'mores, the graham cracker, the marshmallow, oh. chocolate. Mm -hmm. What are we thinking? I just Super like duper. Super. Good job, duper. Giant. Good. Amazing. So do you guys think that you might make barbecue meatloaf at home and mm -hmm. potato puffs and s'mores? Yes, my dear? I think oh, I'm gonna dream two about, of them. like. You're gonna dream about this? A potato puff monster and this kind of monster. Okay, so a potato and, puff monster and a meatloaf monster. And a s'more monster. That's gonna be your dream tonight. That's a pretty fantastic dream. So guys, before we keep eating, what is the rule. Remember what we were saying? If you're a little bit nervous, maybe there's foods that you don't know if you like, what are we gonna remember to do? We're gonna just, try. Just one bite. Awesome, thank you so much for watching. I'm Meg Tucker. For today's recipe, for all of the recipes, you can go to justonebite.ca. And until next time, keep cooking and let's eat. Just One Bite is brought to you by the following sponsors. For today's recipes, head to justonebite.ca.